Entertainment Time. It's a big one, Brookie. Yeah, it sure is, Carlos. In the space of just three and a half minutes, four local lads from Melbourne reached international stardom with this 2003 hit song. It's one of the most recognisable riffs. Are You Gonna Be My Girl launched Melbourne band Jet to international rock starter. The boys went to LA in 2003 to record their first album, Get Born, which remains in the top five highest selling Australian rock records of all time. Now, 20 years later, Nick, Chris, Mark and Cameron are being welcomed into the 2023 ARIA Hall of Fame. And Mark and Nick from Jet join us in the studio now. You can hear them cheering. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you in. I mean, I have to say personally that that soundtracked my teenage years. Is that a weird experience that it's been 20 years since that? Does it feel like 20 years? Do, uh, don't, not really. No. Not me either. No. I've been hanging out with this guy for longer than 20 years, but yeah, it doesn't. <coughs> it is weird. And, and you know what's weird? It, it, it's the people that we meet along the way that we're like, wow, you seem quite young to be into our band. And they're like, no, I was into it when I was you know, six. Yeah. Were you going to say that about me? Yeah. No, thank <laughs> exactly, you. Thank yeah. you, guys. <clears throat> Appreciate that. What, what was the reaction when you found out that you were in, being inducted into the Hall of Fame? Um, I mean, obviously, it's a big honour, so we're all very thrilled. I don't remember where I was at the time. Probably quaffing wine somewhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> as you do. Um, look, it's one of those things that sort of comes out of the blue. You don't sort of see it coming and... It's, it seems, it feels weird because it is weird, you know, like it is yeah. weird to be honoured, you know, or whatever, when all you do is you just want to play guitar, you know, that's why you started doing this. And then you look at the list of people, you know, and your names are right there mm. beside them. Mm. That must be daunting or overwhelming. Um, yeah, I suppose. It's an honour, I guess, it's, you yeah, know, like we that, just feel honoured and, and <clears throat> um, you know, it, when I, when I see those names there, I'm reminded of of, um, of the reasons why we started in the first place, and you know all of those artists who whose footsteps we walk in. So that's it's a privilege to be part of that. And do your kids realise how cool you are? What do they say about it? <laughs> they don't all? think we're cool. My daughter thinks you're cool. Really? My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Does but your own kids don't think <laughs> you're... Thanks, I hope you're awake. <laughs> uh, so you've been touring this year to celebrate the debut album Get Born. Yeah. How's that been? That's been great, actually. Yeah. That's really been fun. Um, yeah, we had... I think it's some of the best shows we've done in a... I mean, we haven't played in a long time, so it was just fun to be back in a room together. And Because um, whenever that happens, of course, it triggers a lot of memories and there's a lot of funny stories, so it's always good fun for us. Yeah. Are you ever worried when you pick up the guitar again or stand in front of a mic? You're like, oh, wait, do I remember how to do this? Like, am, am, am I a rock star still? What do I do? Um, I you, mean... You love that term, rock star, don't you? <laughs> I, I think um, <laughs> there's... I mean, you know, we've not um, released <laughs> new music in a while, so uh, it's pretty hard to forget <laughs> those songs that we've played a thousand times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some people... <clears throat> So you never know. Is it true that the, the name of the band came from Paul McCartney and, and the, the Wings hit Jet? Kind of. It was more of a... That's, that word, like, was in the ether, you know. But we were, when we were looking for a name that was... All the bands at the time had really long names, like, and you will know us by the Trail of the Dead, and it took up so much room on, you know, on a, on a, poster. On a poster. So we were, like, we were like, what about a short name? Like, one word, so it looks like... It looks, they have to write it in big font. You know, yeah, for it to yeah, fit yeah. in, to fit anywhere, so it'll look like we're headlining. It always looked like we were headlining. It was the biggest. That yeah. is so cool. Well, it's very exciting. I, for one, am very excited. And you can watch the Aria Awards live on Stan on Wednesday from 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, followed by a very special broadcast right here on Nine. Congratulations and thank you for coming thank in. Thank you thank for you. having us. Nice to meet you both. You too. Over to you guys. You've done to me <laughs> lately. You've made a fool of it. <laughs> I love those guys so much. <laughs> we should have got them to do that, Carlos, not you and me. That was terrible. I wish they found terrible. that amusing. <laughs> hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?